Hey YouTube, Death Scouter here making another video. And today we are going to be replacing the battery in our Lenovo Flex uh, laptop. I didn't find any good videos out on the web showing how to do it to this particular model, which is why I'm going to make my own. Um, video is going to pick up here uh, a little bit with some disassembly already required for the uh, A, is I learned as I go, and B, um, just to make the video short and sweet. So you'll see that on the back of the laptop there are certain mounting screw holes. Um, so we have to unscrew all of those um, screws in order to get as the first step. Second step is to flip around the laptop and open it up and we, there's a couple of mounting holes hidden underneath the keyboard. Now the keyboard is held in simply by these little clips. So it's a very flexible keyboard. I took a small screwdriver, I'll show you how I did this. Took a small screwdriver here, a very small blade, and I simply just pried around the edges of the keyboard until I could pop out these little mounting tabs and then fold the keyboard towards you very gently. Uh, I don't see any reason to disconnect the keyboard, so don't bother doing that. And there will be one, two, three, four um, mounting screws. And then number five, which mine happen to have a little, like an anti-tamper piece of Lenovo tape over it. This is the screw that actually holds in the CD-ROM drive. And that has to come out, so you unscrew that, and you'll be able to slip. This is where the CD-ROM drive plugged in, and this was the this was the tab on the CD-ROM drive that was holding it in place. So we slipped that out the side, and that was important because we'll fold this over, close this up, we'll flip this around, and the answer here is that underneath the CD-ROM drive, you have these tricky little these tiny little wide head flat screws you need to get these three screws out and then and now it's where we're going to pick up in real time because I haven't gone any further than this uh, we just start prying around the edge and we can lift the back off of the laptop as so uh, the battery is internal sadly uh, it's a real shame that they don't have a uh, externally accessible um, laptop battery but it is what it is so let's go ahead now and start taking off the rest of these mounting screws for the battery making sure we don't lose any and sometimes you gotta go with a bigger head screwdriver Yep. Just to make sure everything bites in like it's supposed to. A um, couple of things. I did take off the rubber feet on the bottom of the laptop case just to uh, verify that there were no mounting screws underneath these rubber feet. I'm talking about these sp spaces right here and here. So you do not, do not need to take yours off in order to get to them. Um, they pop on and they pop off normally or understandably the less you have to take off the better because once you take something apart it never really seems to go back together exactly the way you wanted it to in the first place so here is the battery um, battery is held in or plugs in in one spot and this little clip here off to the side so we will go ahead and work on getting this unplugged and replace it with the new battery and I'll pick that video up okay so I wanted to just pull out my replacement battery that I got from the gods of Amazon and just take a look at the the, uh, the plug here just to verify you know by looking at the new stuff you can see how the old stuff comes apart right so this is really just a slip in slip out and we're going to wiggle that, look at that, pull that out. Notice that the red wires are to the left, black wires are to the right. Off with the old, in with the new, black to, red to the left, black to the right. And clips right in there. So this one actually had a, 
if you can see, there's a uh, little mounting or a, a clip to the right that kind of locks this thing into place. It doesn't take much to get it in and out, but you definitely want to make sure that that's put back together. And then assembly is just going to go into the in the opposite order. Um, put all the mounting screws back in. Make sure that the laptop uh, battery is seated firmly on all the mounting screws and then reassemble uh, snapping everything together ever so gently so bottom screws take off the keyboard some mounting screws there slide out the CD-ROM more mounting screws underneath the CD-ROM and then unplug the battery and plug the battery back in so uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal uh, just know that uh, as you put things back together, for instance, here's a great example. Um, these wires have popped out of their little holding bracket, and you definitely want the wires to be seated where they should be, because when you put the cover back on, the last thing you want to be doing is pinching wires and breaking things in the process of fixing things. So we want to make sure that all the wires are tracking where they're supposed to be, um, nothing's going to get pinched, nothing's going to get damaged. A um, couple other things, obviously this is the hard drive. This is where you would get your hard drive out as well. Uh, here's your memory dim, uh, so you could be changing your memory out, uh, doing a memory upgrade if they're even available in this model, I don't know. I'm just showing you that since, uh, since, we've, since we've got it apart. So this process would be the same whether you're replacing battery or hard drive or memory dim, um, or uh, the CD-ROM drive itself. So uh, I know there's some there's some models of hard drive. Uh, I'm sorry, some models of laptop, um, such as my Lenovo, my big ThinkPad that I use. I swapped out the CD-ROM drive and put in an adapter. Actually, put in a second SSD drive, for, so that I could have a D drive with, uh, with some more capacity. So uh, anyway, this is this is taking apart the Lenovo Flex. Um, I think it's the 2-14. I'll verify that and put that up on the on the title when I publish the video on YouTube. And uh, this should be pretty simple. Put it all back together and we're good to go. Total time, now that I know what I'm doing, probably about a 15-minute project. Um, if that. I mean, it's, it's pretty fast, pretty simple. Thanks.